Welcome back to Landing Zone Home. This is part two of the Champion 3400 dual fuel setup and break in. On this video, we'll be changing the oil, doing an oil analysis, and then we're going to continue the break in and get to the load testing where I'm going to test two air conditioners on my Airstream a 13,500 BTU and a 15,000 BTU. So stay tuned. <clears throat> The first thing I'll do is change the oil. The engine has been ran two hours for the initial break-in using this Royal Purple engine break-in oil. Now I'm going to drain the oil into this glass jar and we'll do a little analysis, see if there's anything to be seen in there. So to get the oil out, just pull this uh, hose off right here. And I've got the generator set up on a slight angle here tilting it toward the jar. We'll see how much of this oil we can get out. I've got the oil drained out and I pulled the magnetic dipstick out just to check it to see what's on it. It's pretty black on the end. And yeah, there's a, uh, a good layer of magnetic material on there. Very, very fine particles. I don't think that's nothing unusual at this stage of the game. So we're gonna clean this off. I'm gonna go ahead and refill it with this Royal Purple break-in oil. And I'm gonna run it till we have about five hours on it and do this again. And while I'm running it for the next few hours, I'll be alternating the load, not to exceed 50% of the load capability here. Here's the oil that came out and the royal purple oil hasn't yet changed colors. It still has a purple tinge to it and I've looked around in the uh, jar and I really can't see any particles. So I've got this uh, magnetic stick here. I'm gonna just move it around in the oil in hopes of uh, capturing some material if there's any in there. And again, there's nothing here. The generator has ran five hours. I've changed the oil out again. When I drained the oil out, I did the same type of analysis. I used the magnet. I didn't find any particles in the oil. On the magnetic dick stick, there was some uh, very fine particles on that. I think that's pretty much normal. So this ends the break-in portion. The manufacturer recommends five hours and as clean as the oil has been, I concur, five hours I think was plenty on the break-in. So I'm not going to use the uh, break-in oil any further. I'm switching over to a synthetic, uh, sticking with Royal Purple. This is the Duralec 15W40. So you ask, why am I not using 10W30 as recommended? Well, I will primarily be using the generator in warmer climates, and 15W40, I think, will be sufficient. And this is the same oil that I use in all of my small engines, uh, two other generators, uh, two tractors, a golf cart, and this is also the oil that I use in my Ram 3500 with a Cummings diesel in it. So when I travel, I won't have to carry but one type of oil, which will cover the truck if that needs oil, and also the Champion generator. The plan now is we're going to get started with the load testing, so stick around for that. I know a number of you will be using liquid propane only and stand away from gasoline as much as you can. So I'll be running the test first with gasoline and then I'll switch over and run the same test with the two air conditioners with the LP connection. The setup for the load testing for the air conditioners on the Airstream will be I'll start with the 13,500 BTU and I'll let the power stabilize because the converter is gonna come on automatically and it's gonna try to top off or charge the batteries. The batteries are at 100% so that shouldn't be very much of a draw at all. The camera is going to be set up to watch the generator and this light right here in the middle is a red LED and that's overload. 
So we'll be looking to see if that'll come on. So I'm going to start up the generator. I'll leave it in the uh, eco mode off. I'll plug in the RV, then I'll go inside and turn on the air conditioner. to ensure that the compressor is still running. So even on uh, eco mode, the 13,500 BTU air conditioner has no problem operating. Okay, I'm going to set up and we'll try the 15,000 BTU. Okay, this is inside. The uh, 15,000 BTU air conditioner is running. I can hear the air conditioner, but I cannot hear the generator. The zone two is my larger air conditioner. That's the 15,000 unit. Now this was only testing the uh, electrical power to the converter and to the air conditioners. As you can see, the refrigerator is off. I'm not going to test that, but I am strongly convinced that uh, once the air conditioner is running, you could turn on the refrigerator and it would operate fine. Now, I believe in uh, putting my tools to the test and making them stand up and do their duty, but at this point to turn on the microwave here and to test that, I would find that to be a little bit abusive, so I'm not going to even attempt to do that. 
so I'm well pleased with what it can do because my objective was to have a generator that could run either of my air conditioners when we do not have hookups. So as far as that goes, uh, that requirement has been met. This would be the first time cranking the generator with the liquid propane. The directions for cranking are the same. It even states that you may need to use the choke. I'm gonna cut the battery on. I'm gonna give it some choke and then we'll crank. And I cranked it right into the eco mode, so coming off the of eco mode. So I'm gonna run this for just a few seconds here, let it kind of get stabilized, then I'll go ahead and plug the uh, 30 amp connection in and we'll run the uh, air conditioners on the airstream. Now if you're wondering about the, uh, the power cord I have here, my airstream is a 50 amp configuration since it does have two air conditioning units, but for running the generator I've purchased a separate 30 amp cord so that I don't have to deal with so many adapters and whatnot. And I've also have a progressive dynamics EMS system that I normally would use, but with this generator, I'm not gonna use it. This being an inverter generator, it has very clean power coming off of it. So I'll go ahead and plug in, and then I'm gonna go inside and turn on the smaller air conditioning unit, the 13,500 BTU. The 13,500 BTU air conditioner is running fine now. This is on the LP. Take it down to eco mode. I'm going to turn off the eco mode at this point and go back inside and turn on the 15,000 BTU air conditioner. you heard the generator surge up at RPM when the 15,000 BTU came on, but it's on, it's running on the LP. So one last thing, I'll take it down to the economy mode, and I'm going to go back inside and ensure that it's still running. It was still running even on eco mode, the 15,000 BTU. Well, to wrap up, uh, that's going to conclude the setup, break in, and load testing of the Champion 3400 dual fuel inverter generator. I'm quite pleased with what I've seen so far. I will change the oil again at 10 hours, and then at that point, change it about every 25 to 40 hours, and at least annually, I'll be changing the oil. And I'll be sticking with a 
premium synthetic and right now I'm going to stick with that Royal Purple 15W40. If you have any comments about this generator please put those below if you have questions as well. If you have something you specifically would like me to test like the refrigerator for example let me know and uh, I'll see if I can do that for you. So if you like the video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't seen the part one go back and check that out. And if you haven't subscribed, please do that. Click that subscription button, ring the little bell so you get notices of my future videos. And until next time, thanks for watching.